Welcome to LECOM Health Matters. Our guest today is Ashley Sunday, Director of the Wound Care Clinic at LECOM Health. Ashley, welcome back. Hi, thank you. You just made a trip to Chicago. How was the Windy City? It was good. It was a good trip. Nice weather. Wound care, hyperbaric chambers, I think a lot of this is new for our audience. Can you tell us a little bit about the Wound Care Center, what it does, and the kinds of treatments that it gives to people who have difficult wounds to heal? Absolutely. So our wound care center is an advanced wound care center. Um, so we're aiming for a limb salvage um, and to get the wounds healed as quickly as possible for decreased risk of infection and hospitalization. So we use uh, an abundance amount of advanced modalities to help heal patients. Um, one of those is hyperbaric therapy. Uh, there is only a few indications that we follow Medicare guidelines that it covers. So that would be your diabetic foot, if it goes down to structure and it's infected, chronic osteomyelitis, which is bone infection, and then also your soft tissue radionecrosis. So when people get radiation, um, that hurts the vasculature in that area. So sometimes it's hard to heal or sometimes they're having internal problems and it helps rejuvenate and heal and create angiogenesis, blood growth uh, to help get those areas cleared. When we say advanced wound care center, this is not some place where you go and get a stitch put in. Correct. What type of other techniques do you use when people present with particularly difficult wounds, like ulcers on their feet and things like that? Yeah, so chronic wounds, which you're mentioning, that's majority of what we treat. So that's pressure ulcers, venous ulcers, and arterial ulcers are probably our top three. Um, so for venous ulcers, you want to use intervention. You want to decrease the swelling. So we use medical-grade compression, and that'll help you heal. We also use total contact casts for like diabetic foot or neuropathy wounds or Charcot foot. Um, and that helps offload it so you relieve that pressure. Um, we also use skin substitutes or one of our newest things that we brought on is 3C patch, which is like a platelet rich plasma um, to help and use your own blood. We spin it, you're getting all those rejuvenative factors from your blood and it's creating a patch for us to put on the wound, which has, we've seen really quick healing results. So it's not just a hyperbaric chamber. Correct. But I, is the hyperbaric chamber a major part of it, a major component of it, of the wound care center? Um, I wouldn't say it's the major, what we use most frequently, because there is limited indications. It is a higher advance for limb salvage. Mm -hmm. um, but most of our techniques that we're using is uh, compression therapy, total contact casting, uh, wound vax, our dressings are advanced dressings. They have like a lot of silvers in them and they help with moisture balance to help these wounds get healed as quickly as possible. Well, wound care clearly has advanced itself over the last 10 years, Correct. hasn't it? From, pardon the uh, bad analogy for putting a Band-Aid on a cut, mm -hmm. but it's clearly advanced itself. And I think people have to have a greater understanding of when should they come and seek out us? What is that point? You know, if they have a diabetic ulcer or a pressure ulcer, what's the point that they should come to us or go to their primary care physician and get referred to us? Yeah, so we don't need a referral. So you can be self-referred. So a lot of our patients, and when we're outreaching to the community, we want as soon as you identify that wound, we want you to call us because it's quicker to get it healed in that turnaround when it's in its early stages than when it's in the late stages. Um, so as soon as you see a wound or you have a suspicion of any sort of skin compromise, we would like a call so that we, we can evaluate it right away or start treatment on it right away if there's a wound. And if somebody would call, who would they call? They would call the wound center. So they would call 814-868-3999. And could you walk us through the process of what would happen when a new patient shows up and has, let's say, a diabetic ulcer or a uh, pressure ulcer on their foot? When they show up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so when they come, they're going to, we're going to collect all this information from them. You're going to go back in a room and then typically it's with the nurse and we're going to collect all their information. If it's a lower extremity wound, we screen our vascular screening for them. It's called an ankle brachial index because that determines if we can use something like compression or if we can use a total contact cast, if we can start those modalities right away. because we want to make sure they have good blood flow. Um, other things were like seeing if they have infection and getting a good assessment, then the provider will come in with a case manager, which is usually a registered nurse, and we're going to come in and create a plan. So he's going to first clean the wound typically. So that's called debridement. And what we're doing is removing um, biofilm and necrotic tissue, and we're making a clean wound bed. 
but we're also with these wounds when they're chronic the body kind of does all its job to do and then it kind of gets tired and it goes away so we're kind of resetting the clock in your body and telling the body hey there's a new wound here and then it's bringing all those factors to the wound to heal it. So that's what we do when we do our weekly debridements because all of our patients come weekly. So oh, all of our patients who come weekly. That was Correct. my next question. Mm -hmm. How often does someone have to come? It's on a weekly basis that they would go to Correct. see you for the debridement or for the change of the dressing or things like that. Mm -hmm. And does a typical appointment take a while or does it depend on the severity of the wound? It depends on severity or how many wounds you have. Um, but typically, I mean... We spend a lot of time with our patients to make sure that we're um, identifying all the factors and that we're providing the right treatment. So new patient typically can be up to like two hours, depending. And then for a normal treatment, I'd probably say you're there for about 45 minutes to an hour, typically. But part of this advanced wound care treatment is the word you just used. We spend a lot of time with our patients mm -hmm. because this isn't education and education when that person goes home as important as what you're doing when you debris the foot. Yes, prevention is really important. So we're doing a lot of education with our patients because not only will it help them heal, but it's going to help them prevent from coming back. And that's our ultimate goal. Um, so we're telling them, we're setting them up with uh, proper footwear once they heal or maybe compression stockings once they heal, depending on what the wound is. Um, proper cushions if it's a pressure ulcer to your buttocks. We're making sure those prevention techniques are in place and that we're prepping them while they're healing so that way we can ultimately prevent them coming back. And if people don't take care of these lower extremity wounds, they could be in for severe trouble, could they not? Correct. Of losing toes or even losing feet or worse than that. Yes. Yeah. Amputation. So when someone comes and if someone is hesitant to call, what would you say to them? If they're hesitant to call, um, we always we always want to point out the factor that it could lead to amputation. And when you get an amputation, you're decreasing your um, longevity of life, essentially. Not always, but it can lead to that. So being early in prevention is really giving you longevity, giving you quality of life. Because when a wound goes to a certain point, it's really sometimes hard to recover that, um, which can lead to amputation. So, Well, I think we sometimes, always... Ashley, people, when they look at a particular wound on their body, are so hesitant because they think that if they go to the wound care center, which is an advanced treatment facility, that they may be sent home and everything is fine. But they shouldn't be hesitant to call, nor should they be hesitant to come. No, we have a very welcoming environment at the Wound Center. Well, you're actually, there, people, so you welcome absolutely. everybody as soon as yeah. they come in. We have a great team, so people actually enjoy coming weekly. Um, and a lot of our patients, we do a lot of um, interviews with our patients just to kind of track satisfaction. And really, they refer to us like a family. Like, I mean, we see them more than probably our own family members, our extended family members. Um, so it's really a welcoming environment. And I think that helps people come and be comfortable with getting weekly wound care and being okay with that because that is a lot. Um, or hyperbarics, you're coming every day for about like two months. So I think the um, camaraderie and the environment of our team really helps people feel comfortable coming to the Moon Center. Now, if I could take you back for a second. You said the most as I understood it, uh, the most frequently used treatments are like compression. And what else did you mention? Wound vax, total contact casting, total contact skin substitutes, 3C patch, which is... Those are the most, mm -hmm. not the most common, but those are the most frequently employed by you. Correct. But there is this hyperbaric chamber thing. What is that? I know the Navy <laughs> to uh, for decompression, from what I understood, and divers used the hyperbaric chambers in the late 40s. Mm -hmm. What is that and what is that used for? Yeah, so hyperbaric therapy um, is a 100% oxygen-rich environment. We're forcing oxygen into your plasma. It's creating angiogenesis, which is vessel growth. So we're trying to get blood flow to a certain area to help it um, heal and regenerate um, to get good healing results. Um, also, it helps decrease edema and we're helping transportation of the antibiotic to a certain site. So it's helping with that wound healing. It really is phenomenal once you see the results of it or if you have an indication for it. And this is when people actually go 
into a chamber? Correct. So they're 100% into a locked chamber. This is the entire body? Hi, entire body. Not just, let's say, if I had a wound on my arm, I wouldn't stick my arm in it. Correct, because you have to breathe it in. It doesn't go through your skin. Okay. Um, so you're you what I know. I thought you you're, <laughs> you're entirely in a chamber. And so you're closed off. And closed off. Um, you're under pressure. So you're breathing that in. You go to about equivalent to like 33 feet of seawater when you're under there. But I feel it. No, the only thing really people feel is like if you're diving or you're going to airplane, you feel that pressure in mm -hmm. your ears. So you feel that very much barometric pressure um, when you're in a chamber. So we're monitoring that very closely. Like, do you feel pressure in your ears? Do you feel pain? Um, Cause sometimes people have to get tubes to help clear the ears or sometimes mm -hmm. they're doing certain techniques that we're having them swallow or like extending their neck. Like when you swallow. Correct. Sure. Mm -hmm. when you, when you to clear their ears. Yeah. That's the most risk you have or the primary risk is the barotrauma mm -hmm. at the depth that we um, treat our patients. And if somebody is prescribed that type of treatment, as opposed to getting a dressing change every weekly, this is a day by day. Treatment. This is an addition to. So oh, this is another to. adjunctive okay. treatment. Yeah, you can use. So depending on what the wound is, for example, if it's a diabetic foot and say it meets criteria, it's going down to structure like your muscle tendon bone infection mm -hmm. um, and it's been infected. So that's your Wagner grade three, which is criteria. Um, what we're going to do if it was like on a planar surface is you want to make sure that you provide offloading because without offloading and getting rid of that pressure, a lot of other things are going to work. So sometimes we're using a total contact cast and we're using hyperbarics together and to accelerate the healing, we might be using like a 3C patch or a skin substitute mm -hmm. to help heal. So a lot of times we're using that um, a collaborative approach to their care. So there might be many advanced modalities involved. And the chamber comes after that or in conjunction with it? It depends on where they're at for the indication when they come to us, mm -hmm. depending on when we're going to start that. Sometimes we're able to start right away if the wound is being treated elsewhere and we have documentation of that and meets criteria. Other times we might have to wait to um, like a certain point, like the, if they're new to us and we're first identifying a wound, you have to have that type of wound for at least like four weeks, 30 days. Wound care centers across the country are relatively new, are they not? I wouldn't say they're new, but I'm saying they're becoming more um, prominent. Because you don't, you didn't hear it five years ago. You didn't hear wound care center unless you really needed one. Yeah. But now it's fairly common to see wound care, advanced wound care centers Correct. in facilities like ours that do take care of advanced wounds. You also said, if I understood correctly, that people can self-refer. Correct. Mm -hmm. And if they wanted to self-refer, what would they do? They would just give us a call at 814-868-3999. And they let us know you have a wound, we'd like to be scheduled. And we schedule people within 24 uh, 20, 48 hours, but then two business days if it's over a weekend. And obviously, it's a procedure that is helpful to people and is critical to their own well-being and their own health, and they should not hesitate to call. I keep coming back yes, to that point don't of hesitate hesitation to call. because I think many people, I don't know if they think it's intrusive or if they're taking up professionals' time or whatever. They they wait too long, which makes the treatment even more severe and more difficult. Correct. I think in any problem, you kind of hope it'll just go away or it'll resolve itself. Um, and a lot of times these chronic wounds, they don't. So it's imperative that when you first see them, you first identify the problem is that you're seeking treatment. And where physically is it located, Ashley? We're located inside the Mill Creek Hospital. So we're in the back of the hospital down the, the long hallway to the left. Mm -hmm. Just go in and talk to the receptionist yeah. and the receptionist will tell you where to go and where to get your initial interview for treatment. Yeah, you come through the main doors of the hospital. And like you said, the receptionist is right there. Um, it is a long hallway. So if you do need help, not able to make that trip down, uh, the receptionist will call us and we'll come on and get you in a wheelchair. And one final question. If you could just repeat, is there a phone number? Yes. So it's 814-868-3999. Our guest today has been Ashley Sunny, the Director of Clinical Services at the LECOM Wound Advanced Care Center. Ashley, thank you for what you do. I know full well a lot of people who go through this. 
Uh, I meet them in various different capacities. And uh, I said about the hesitancy question, they're just for some reason afraid. I said, call. Yes, if they call. can't help you or if you don't need their help, you'll get a smile and you'll go home. Absolutely. But yeah. if you need the help, we can give it to you. Yep. So we thank, would love to. Thank you for the good work, Ashley. Thank uh, you. This is Monsignor Rubino for LECOM Health Matters. Mm -hmm.